Hello, online pipe community. Ethan, Parsimonious Piper here. Today we do have a Parsimonious Pipe. Let's take a look. Today's Parsimonious Pipe is a Gold Coast, Dublin. In it, I am smoking some Orlick Golden Sliced from 2017. Doesn't do anything for me. Yes, I taste the sort of grass, hay, honey flavor. I just don't like it. This is somewhere between a two and a three on my scale. A two is uh, is no, I I won't smoke it even if you offer me some. And a three is, yeah, it's okay. I won't be rude. Or I like it, but I won't buy it. And it's not, it's not an I like it, but I won't buy it. So it's somewhere in between that two and three. I know some of y'all really, really love this stuff. Hmm. Nope. Doesn't have enough kick for me. To its credit, it burns pretty well. I am not having any trouble even talking, keeping it lit. At least not yet. Hey, let's take a closer look at this lovely little Gold Coast pipe. All right, I left the light box out this time again just because I think it's a little more fair to try and compare these with uh, similar shots. Top and bottom, before and after. It was a little grimy. That top shot's darker than it needs to be. It did, uh, it did clean up very nicely closer look at the stamping fairly clear it looks like it's been buffed a little bit but uh, you can still see the uh, lion emblem shield to the left of gold coast there and this is an after shot that uh, that gold filled band buffed out pretty nicely entirely by hand here was the biggest difference probably pre and post uh you can see by the difference in diameter <laughs> there was a lot of cake build up inside this thing i didn't quite get it all the way back to briar but you can see i came pretty close and the lava on top look at the pretty grain that was underneath that little bit of scorching left just right around the inside of the rim i did not sand that out because i didn't want to change the shape of the rim too much but that grain popped right back out when the lava was removed. Now look at the stem. The stem itself was lightly oxidized, not too bad. A little bit of tooth chatter, just a, a little bit of, of discoloration and cleanup needed. That gold band uh, was pretty scratched up. Uh, I used micro mesh uh, on that just like I did on the stem to get it nice and shiny. And finally, the internals. You can see the stinger was rather filthy, and that came clean nicely. The uh, tenon there was a little grimy. It looks gray in, in the bottom. That is because it, it was tight. So after I cleaned it off, uh, I did wax it, and uh, that beeswax dried sort of gray there. Other than that, yeah, it, it cleaned up pretty nicely, and you can see the grain again. I paid a little more for this one. Uh, than I often do, although uh, it was still only $44. I uh, did not spend a ton on it. There was a lot of cleanup to do, but the pictures that I saw before I bought it indicated there was no structural damage. It was just dirty and in need of a cleaning. So uh, it, it, really, uh, it, it really wasn't that wildly out of whack. At least I don't think so. I see it cleaned up awfully nicely. I really can't see that. I've got too much contrast going on with this bright sun here. Ah. No, that's pretty good. Oh, I switched bowls. <laughs> um, I, I, I dumped the Orlick. I, I, I'm smoking some haunted bookshop now. Sorry. <laughs> For those of you who might have been confused the magic of editing. <laughs> uh, all right, let's see. Um, what else was I? Oh, 
Chad, Yardism, asked us another question this week. This time he asked us if we could talk about a time when, when we were in over our heads. Yeah, I can. Little background. For a good 20 years, uh, I was a, an avid motorcyclist. Longer than that, really. 20, 25. Uh, I put on uh, six different six different motorcycles. I, I put on uh, just a little over 300,000 miles in, in the course of that time. Not record-breaking record by any means, uh, but I rode a lot. And when we lived in Arizona... I rode with the Christian Motorcyclist Association, which some of you are familiar with. If you're not, that is a Christian ministry. It's not just a riding group. It's a ministry to motorcyclists. We did some interesting things out in Arizona. One of those things, one year, a couple guys and I, I think there were three or four of us total, went up to what was an annual shindig up in the mountains called Mountain Madness. And it was pretty rough. Uh, this is one of those uh, weekend camps with uh, porta potties and, you know, no showers and uh, not a lot of facilities. And Hell's Angels. It was an interesting definitely an interesting time <laughs> well three of us one night we're conversing with some hell's angels around their campfire uh, talking about bikes and they were interested in mine because at the time I was riding a 97 uh, Honda Valkyrie and uh for those of you who don't know, that is a six-cylinder beast, 1,500cc, uh, and I had custom truck pipes welded on instead of motorcycle pipes, so it was also loud. They weren't used to hearing a, a Honda that could compete with their Harleys. Now, I couldn't drown them out. Uh, uh, some of their Harleys with the shorty pipes are even unpiped. No, they were still way louder, but they weren't used to hearing anything other than, you know, sewing machine noises coming out of the Hondas. And the other two guys I was with were Harley riders. So we were, we were chatting bikes around the, the fire. When on signal, rather attractive young lady came over and stood behind the guy that we were talking to and proceeded in about three seconds flat to strip buck naked. <sighs> yeah. The three of us guys looked at each other. We just turned around, kept up with the conversation, didn't miss a beat, but just kind of let him know that, at, no, we, we weren't there for the show. But I got to tell you, at that point in my life, I knew that without those other guys there, I was in over my head. No question. Those, uh, those HAs, uh, they, they figured they would play a good one on us. And yeah, we laughed about it both with them and afterward. Yeah, it, it was, it was funny. The young lady put her clothes back on. And uh, we turned back around and resumed conversing for a couple more hours. <sighs> it is it is interesting, uh, the situation sometimes that uh, you find yourself in. Well, folks, this is something I like. Orlet Golden Sliced, eh. One of y'all shows up the North Carolina meetup this Saturday. You can have what's left of it. Probably a good four or five flakes. I won't be smoking it again. But with that, 
Find something you do like. Hmm, I do like this. Enjoy your afternoon.